wanted to spend a few minutes uh, after this super rainy, nasty day, now that the sun's starting to peek out, talk about uh, basic setup for uh, keeping uh, shad, other bait fish, and uh, also the uh, chemicals to help keep them alive. Now, something I've got that makes life a lot easier, a little build pump with some tubing. You uh, connect this up right here to a small battery, just like off a lawnmower. You don't need to spend the big bucks. And that's going to allow you to pump in water over the side. Just takes a few minutes. Uh, that keeps you from having to have a, a larger bucket in your boat and uh, saves your back and aggravation and a little bit of space. Battery, uh, that'll keep it going. 10 12 hours easy. Uh, those bait fish will probably be long gone before uh, that little battery runs out. Just uh, aerating that well and pumping that water in and out. But uh, makes it a lot easier getting that water in there. You're also going to want to have a uh, small, uh, somewhat small, uh, setup like this uh, filled halfway with water. I dump the uh, fish in there initially, let them uh, get in there five, ten minutes. That gets rid of that initial dispersion of uh, urine and uh, some of the flakes, uh, scales coming off. And you're also able to get rid of the uh, few that are just near death already and uh, don't put them into the general pop inside of your live well here. Before you get those fish coming in, I do uh, use two things. <clears throat> the first one here is uh, called Foam Off by Sure Life. What this does is it gets rid of, does what it says, which is really neat in advertising when things actually do what they say. It gets the foam off the top of the water. Well, what does that matter? Two reasons. Uh, the first one, which is clearly evident, it's hard to find and get the fish when you can't see them through the foam. The uh, second one with this stuff is it breaks up the water tension which allows some of that uh, ammonia to uh, disperse and for that oxygen needed water to do the trick. So it makes the water cleaner and helps them out. The second thing also made by Sure Life and Sure Life never gave me a single thing ever. This stuff is not exactly cheap, uh, but uh, you put this in the actual water as well. And again, it helps you out with the ammonia, uh, helps you out with uh, keeping those uh, fish less stressed and alive longer. I've uh, used this stuff for years now, both of these, and uh, they do make a, a serious difference. If you're uh, tight on cash, get the foam off. It cost a little bit of money still but that bottle will typically last me a season or longer that one bottle uh, the shag keeper it's somewhat uh, expensive and uh, you need to use a, a fair amount of that with uh, every large bait tank this bait tank I have uh, homemade uh, you can get these uh, if you got uh, a farmer you get along with you can get one of these uh, jigsaw cut out the top and uh, this is a uh, 2.0 hinge here the uh, first one rusted off and this one probably be dead in a few more years too but uh, just a simple hinge on top and uh, just a couple pieces of uh, board cut out uh, you can pay a lot more for uh, some tanks that might be better than this uh, keep alive makes a bait tank that sucks don't get it Amazon would not allow me to have my reviews on there because I was so honest about how much it sucked the uh, hinge on those breaks uh, I had to end up making a uh, aftermarket hinge for the uh, thing to work and uh, really the thicker insulation weighs a lot more it doesn't seem to really do much for keeping the water cool so I've got that like on permanent loan to a friend of mine who has it. But you can make one of these yourself. Uh, just drill out the little hole there. Drill another one for the oxygen. 
and you can just go ahead and uh, get some uh, marine adherent adhesive and put that uh, bilge pump in there and oxygenate your own water. Just need a little aquarium tubing. This one's a little bit moldy and funky. I'll probably change it out again in the not too distant future. And uh, put another piece of marine tubing in. And you can scrub these out, but whatever you do, don't use a detergent, uh, anything else, cleaning solvents. You do that, uh, you're probably going to end up killing some fish in there. I've taken that advice from other people, haven't learned that out the hard way. Uh, shad especially, hard to keep alive. Uh, you also don't want to have really cool water in here. Uh, at most you want it to be about 10 degrees cooler than the uh, water that you're taking them out of. What happens when you have uh, water a lot colder than what they have already, you'll put them into shock. I just pump the water in using this like I told you that morning of that operation uh, that's I do that before I start catching fish I pump that water in same place I'm getting them if you got well water you'll probably be okay as long as you wait for it to be on the uh, cool side but uh, 10 degrees or more variance you're probably going to put them into uh, shock and kill them so a bunch of ice in there probably not a good thing what I have done in the heat of the summer I uh, had a 2 liter frozen solid, put it in there, it uh, cools it off a little bit throughout the course of the day and keeps it from overheating so quickly. So something you can do to help slow uh, that water from heating up really bad to uh, help you out. Questions, comments, uh, ways you do it maybe better than I do it, I'm uh, happy to hear them. If you like this uh, video, uh, please uh, consider subscribing and I'll try to share some other uh, cool fishing things with you in the future as well as uh, hunting and shooting if that interests you. Have a blessed evening. Thanks for watching.